Whatever happened to the good old resignation letter? What's up, socials? Happy Sexy Wednesday. You know, and yet another person thought it would be really cool to post on the internet that they're quitting their job in a really quirky way. Unfortunately, I don't think this is going to equal viral fame for her only uh, place in a legal setting. P.S. I think the sun has finally decided to join the Midwest, so I have no idea how this lighting is going to turn out. This young lady, her name's Jenny, last name to be confirmed, decided to quit her job via a series of pictures and a whiteboard explaining why she was leaving and how big of a douchebag her boss is. Unfortunately, her boss thought it would be equally as cool for him to do the same in a rebuttal and then accused her of violating her employee agreement. Why do we all feel like when we leave our job, it's gotta be this viral sensation? This was bound to happen where it was no longer cool anymore and you're breaking rules and you're hurting people's feelings who have a lot of money to put behind those feelings and make your life terrible. As fun and as funny as these videos and photo montages can be, and I know we've all thought about, man, I really wish I would've gone out like that, or man, one day I'm gonna go out like that when I finally start my full time gig on my own. The thing is, this is not the marketing lifestyle, okay? Nobody in their right mind, even if you absolutely detested your boss, would burn that bridge when they really didn't do anything wrong. I mean, unless they sexually violated you or treated you like dirt at the office, they're somebody that could potentially help your career down the road. Why would you ever want to work with somebody who might bust out a whiteboard and take pictures of themselves saying terrible things about you? That doesn't sound like somebody I'd want to hire. This is networking 101. Do not burn bridges. Do not make enemies. This is probably unavoidable in some cases. Trust me, I probably have a couple of enemies laying around. We don't run into each other very often, so I'm unsure. This is just freaking common sense. Could everybody come back to earth, please, and start using those old resignation letters? Hey, boss man, pink slips used to be a thing. Bring those back. Everyone is always so quick to call out hashtag fail. Everyone loves it. But how often are we hashtag praising people? Why can't we balance those things? If you were never asked to move up in your job and you resented your boss for it, then you know what? You probably weren't that good at your job. So move on nicely, get better at it, and go do it someplace else. You can't blame the ref for everything, right? You're the one losing the game. That's my rant for today, socials. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it as always. This was sort of an anti-sexy Wednesday because, you know, I like to switch it up here and keep things interesting. Tweet with me at Schmatastic and at Savvy Sexy Social. I will see you tomorrow for Social Thursday. And if you want to make sure you don't miss any of these videos, you should subscribe to this channel on YouTube. Or if you like email better, we like to hang out there too. The link in the annotation below is for my marketing lifestyle newsletter where you'll get all my videos and some extra sweet from yours truly. So click that link and get on it. I'll see you tomorrow.